Hello all, welcome once again Sabor on this side and I have come back with another AWS Lambda function tutorial. So here I am going to show you how you can configure an event bridge rule to trigger your function at a regular interval. So here first of all you need to understand what an event bridge is. So coming to the AWS console, event bridge is basically that source of events which are nothing but JSON payloads that are generated and sent to your certain destinations and destinations can be any service so here my current in my current scenario i am using the destination as an aws lambda function and i'm going to show you how this can be configured this event bridge guy can be configured to trigger my function so first of all uh, what i would like to do is uh, create a lambda function in ap south one region uh, which is mumbai so let's go ahead and create a basic function so author from scratch let's select uh, python as the runtime and the name of the function as trigger say for example eb for event bridge let's go ahead with uh, the default execution so let it be i would i would go i would allow the lambda service to create a new function to create a new role for me here and let's go ahead and create the function okay it will take some amount of time till yes my function is ready and you can see here that simply it's uh, returning a hello from lambda message here so the first thing that I'm going to do here is simply print the events print the event payload that my function is going to receive let's deploy it and let's try to test it create an event event 1 and I'm going to keep this event JSON as it is so let's save it and let's try to test the function so that my function is working fine or not you can see that uh, here in the response code it is returning the status code and the body and here it is simply printing the event payload okay my function is ready now the thing is configuration of the event bridge rule so once you land up here the event amazon event bridge console so the thing that you can notice that here in the events there are certain options so event bus event bus basically denotes uh, uh it, it it would be it would be basically a, a setup that actually help you to generate uh, certain events even it it helps you to look out for certain other different sources and gather those uh, varieties of various types of sources and gather those events it's basically acts as a holding of events from different sources and channelize it to proper destinations in your accounts and there are different use cases where event bridge to event bridge communication can also be uh, taken care of and those use cases are definitely a com bit complex one coming to the by default uh, coming to this use case basically there is a by default uh, event bus that is available per region so what I'm going to do is here if I go to the on the left side here on the rules section so I'm going to select my event bus which is the default one and I would create a rule here so let's try to give a rule name as rule trigger lambda and there can be different patterns there can be different two ways basically to uh, have this rule enabled so the first thing is like it's going to look out for the any event source that has uh, certain parameters or pattern matching and on the basis of that cloudwatch uh, previously it was used to be a cloudwatch met, uh, events but now like uh, uh, amazon event bridge is a separate product altogether so what it's going the event bridge is going to do is it's going to generate the event json payload and send it to the destination the, like whatever you have configured so what i'm going to select is this schedule option a rule that runs on a specific time duration let's select next so here they made some recent changes as you can see the cron expression so there are the two defo default uh, two options are available 
like a schedule uh, that runs at a regular rate of every 10 minutes or even you, you want to specify that at 8 a.m. PST Monday morning I want to for example uh, execute my lambda function to um, start an EC2 instance or stop an EC2 instance so what I'm going to do is for now is uh, I will click on one uh, I, I will click over here and select one because I want to show you that per minute my function is getting triggered and the for the hours and other rest other stuffs let's try to give stars for all and let's click on next but before that I would like to show you one documentation here that here you get the option uh, so there are different wildcards and the various cron fields that are available like minutes hours uh, day of the month month day of the week and year and these are the corresponding values that are available and these are the wildcards the question marks would there there can be different wildcards as you can see the like question mark slash l and uh, hash comma uh, dash as well as asterisk each denoting different things like every star would denote every hour every minute every day but in uh, you cannot use the star in both the day of the month and uh, day of the week fields so in that case if you want to use it in one then you must use question mark in the other okay so here what I have to do the day of month that is the third field sorry since I am using a star here so day of the week I cannot put a star so I have to use a question mark here so here are the next 10 triggers that I am going to receive is 21st April so it's around 19 GMT and then 20 so it's going to hit at every moment so let's uh, so apologies for this so one by keeping one at the min at minutes block it would denote that every uh, hours so every first minute of every hour my function is going to get triggered or the, the, or the event bridge is going to generate events so what I'm going to do is change it to star so if I change it to star you could see that the next 10 trigger, triggers that it's going to generate is at an interval of one minute so that's a beautiful thing that uh, recently has been uh, created the recent changes in the UI so let's go ahead with the next let's try to select the destination so here you can that as a target you can give an event bus here in this case as well so there would be an event bridge to another event bridge you want to communicate anything communicate those events then you can select these options and there are certain API destinations as well in case you want to uh, uh, select a certain different use case here you can also like uh, if, if there are any SAS partners who are trying to utilize it you can also select this option but for my use case I'm going to go ahead with AWS service let's select the drop-down and uh, lambda function so once I select the lambda function from the drop drop down, I have to uh, find my function. So this trigger EV, and since there are no allies or version for my functions, I'm going to select the default one. And by default, it's going to select this default option. So if there are any additional settings that are available, you can configure it on your own. Like what are the retry policies? and if there are any date later queues that are need to be configured in case there is a failure of uh, the events in case the event bridge is unable to send the events so or even if uh, the event bridge sends there are failures though so dl queues and all those stuffs can be configured we'll discuss about a dl queue separately when i will be talking about sqs and sns's in the forthcoming lectures some other day so let's click on next and let's again click on next and let's create the rule now once we create the rule event bridge is going to generate events at an interval of a minute depending upon the cron expression that we have uh, configured so this is the cron expression and I'm going to expect at 1831 GMT if I select the local time zone so it's around 12 2 a.m. I'm going to get an event 
and my function is going to get triggered so let's go to the functions console here and go to monitor and view logs in cloudwatch let's select that so you could see an old log stream uh, that's available at 2353 which is uh, which was during the testing of my uh, the test function with the test events if i open that you would see these these logs the logs that contains the old event i will now go back and wait for my function to get triggered yes my function got triggered around uh, a minute back so you could see the timings here i believe it's in the utc time so here you can see this is the event that the event bridge is going to send so you can see here clearly that uh, the a the source is aws.events and the corresponding account ids and the resource arn that which is the specific rule that is sending this event and so once this event is received your function is going to get triggered so you want to in case you want to uh, configure any specific code in your function so that is going to uh, get executed at this point of time or every minute you want to monitor some other metrics then you can utilize this specific use case uh, let's wait for another minute to see the second execution because i want to show you that and you can see that an interval of another minute even bridge has sent another event and the function has processed it and these are the corresponding request ids and uh, the billing duration and the memory consumption and all those informations and stuffs okay so that's all from my end for now i hope you liked it and uh, please subscribe and uh, share these videos and wait for exciting tutorials again thanks for watching bye bye